Hello everyone. Uh, this is the short axis view showing IJV and the carotid artery. So the blue one which is shown in the screen is the IJV and the structure which is underlying the, which is pulsating is the carotid. So this is the second part of my center line insertion video. You can see the IJV in screen which is marked as blue. The underlying structure uh, which I have told before is the carotid and this is the long axis view. So it is easy to do center line in the long axis view. Okay. So one of the major risks of doing center line is the carotid puncture. By doing this long axis view needle insertion technique, you can avoid multiple punctures. So if you have not seen the part one of center line insertion, please see that video and come back for better understanding. I have given the link in the description. Okay, so I am uh, uh, showing you the long axis view now so insert the needle through direction of the prop which we have kept you can see the needle is going directly inside the internal jugular vein so you can see the needle where the arrow mark is shown so now you can see there is a free flow of blood which is coming and insert the guard wire through the port. Your guard wire will go freely and while inserting the guard wire you have to see the monitor for ch any changes because the guard wire is going directly into the atrium of heart. So once the guard wire is gone inside you have to gently remove the needle. Next step is the dilatation. So, through the guide wire, you have to insert the dilator and by screw technique, you have to proceed inside and take it back. Once you are dilated, then you need to insert the center line. So, if the skin is very tight, then you can give a small nick. A scalpel blade is given inside the stick. So gently push the center line inside and railroad the gate wear outside. So the main risk of this technique at this point of time is uh, the gate wear. So you need somebody else is there, you can uh, tell them to have a grip in the gate wear so that you cannot, uh, there is no chance of. Get, get that inside. Take the gate wire outside and you can secure a center line after this. So, after taking the gate wire, check the three ports whether the free flow is there. Your syringe should be positioned upward so that air should not go inside. So regarding the direction of needle insertion, if you have any doubt, please go and uh, see the previous video, the part 1 of center line insertion which I have uh, given in the channel. So just um, clear all the reports. So after doing central line, ideally you have to do a chest x-ray to see whether your position is correct or see whether there are any underlying pneumothorax is there while uh, you were puncturing the patient. Uh, suppose the patient was having some bullet or something, there is a chance of pneumothorax. So this procedure we have done in a single trick through the long axis view technique. So just recheck the view. So you can see here clearly. See the arrow. The center line is going inside the IJV. You can see the underlying carotid, where the line is uh, secured in the IJV. So reconfirm after doing uh, the procedure. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.